Now, we've got another trailer coming up, and this is the big boy. This one's a 34 RSBS, okay? Awesome trailer. Look at Ronnie's new truck pulling that. Doesn't that look good behind there? Now, this trailer's a little bit more heavier on here, so you're going to want at least a good three-quarter ton to be able to pull this one. Weight on it is 9,200 pounds, so you really would want to get a, at least a good three-quarter ton to pull it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now this trailer's kind of cool. Again, you got the Moride step systems. Kind of, a, kind of a nerd deal for me when I go camping. When I go camping, I want to be able to pop up with a beer, and I want to get the camp all set up. Donna's inside, putting the slides out, putting her little things together. But I try to do it within under 20 minutes. And usually I can do it between 10 and 11 with my drill and one-handed. Okay? So we've got the Moride step system. Again, your kids can pull this out. Look how convenient that is. Okay, now on the side, the entertainment side, you'll notice the slide comes out there, but your awning goes this way. So you've got your full-size awning that'll pull all the way out. So that way you can put your friends out here, you can put your chairs, your tables. You can mount a uh, TV out here again with the Jayco mount, plug, and cable. So that way you can entertain. This trailer is also equipped with the side cameras, if you, if you so desire those. Okay. You've got pass-through storage, and there's that grill I was showing you on the other trailer. This one also has it. Now, the bigger trailers will come with the, with the taller bottles, okay? And you've also got your power tongue jack. Again, that's a one-handed deal, okay? Everything's push button. And you've got your electric stabilizers right here, okay? Again, the fingers, one finger to do all that. Okay. Now, the stabilizers don't level it. What they do is they stabilize, they keep the wobble out. Normally, I have to do that first for Don and we even get in the trailer a lot of times. You've got your mag wheels, again, with the great uh, Goodyear tires on there. The graphics on this trailer, it's pretty. You've got your grill back here, your ladder. And if you would, if Ronnie would turn his turn signal on, I'd like to show you how that works. I don't know if he can hear me or not, but like I said, that bottom one will start to flash and the whole trailer will flash. Jayco's real big on safety. Uh, spare tire, again, you can go up on the roof, 4,500 pounds. And remember, with every trailer sold during the show, we're gonna include a weight distribution hitch on there. Uh, that's a beautiful trailer. All righty, now we're gonna be bringing up a toy hauler. Oh, excuse me, we gotta go inside. Okay. I get really excited about doing all this. Okay. So this is the rear living, okay? This is a great trailer. You've got a four seat dinette here, and you can even get a table and chairs if an option if you'd rather have that. You got your two recliners. You pretty much got a full size couch in here that will fold out to a bed, okay? Fireplace down here. You've got a bigger TV back here along with all your storage. And the cool thing with this is you're sitting in the recliners, you're facing the TV, okay? My wife and I stayed in one of these trailers right at the beginning of the pandemic and it was very comfortable and we had no problems with it. Lots of storage. And the color here is the modern farmhouse. You've got your dual refrigerator, gas and propane. You got the three output burners, high output burners with Furion, stainless steel microwave, and the greatest thing my wife thinks is there's a coffee bar, okay? She puts her coffee up here, her coffee cup. She can put her Instant Pot up here. She's got good sized drawers over here to put her utensils. Cabinets up here, and these are big enough and strong enough to hold, you know, an Instant Pot. If you, want, if you so desire to put that up there. Now, one thing you also can do is, you know, Home Depot, they have those dividers out there. You can get more in there by putting the shelves in there. And then when you're traveling, what Donna does is she'll either stuff towels up in there or she'll put, uh, we'll put those uh, little bars in there that kind of keep things secure, okay? We've got a 15K AC in the living room, okay? All LED lights. Beautiful counter, beautiful uh, island, sink, cutting board. And this is great for washing dishes, cleaning fruit, vegetables, because you can just rinse everything off. And, okay. 
And boom, again, more storage. Put cans down in here. Pop tar, stuff like that. Stuff easy for the kids to get a hold of. And one thing I want to show you right quick, I won't spend a lot of time on it, but you'll notice the heat vents in a Jayco are in a straight line. You'll see other trailers where they're kind of scattered throughout there. This gives you 40% more heat by keeping it in a straight line without making a bunch of turns and curves in there. Okay? All right, let's go. You got another one, one of these open up two over here again for both sides. So, you know, for two of us in here, we were in there six months and we had plenty of room. Okay? Down the hallway, all your controls are nicely located right here. You've got your slides, your awnings, your bedroom slide, lights, and then your tanks. Okay? Your thermostat for your air conditioning and heating. And don't worry about a lot of this stuff, trying to memorize it all, because when you pick up your trailer from uh, Vod RV, we're going to spend an hour to two with you showing you how everything works, okay? And there's no stupid questions, you know? Now, the bedroom is kind of neat because you've got a walk-through bedroom, or walk-through bathroom, okay? That way, if you have guests or the in-laws staying with you, you can close off your bed, and they can go to the restroom or take a shower. Again, a Jayco shower is something that just really impresses me. You know, this is solid. I had no leaks the whole time we were there. Now, I don't have much hair, so it didn't take me long in here to shower, but when Donna would get in here, she had plenty of hot water, very comfortable. You've got your cabinets over here for the bathroom. Nice and neat. Again, all, look at that. That's solid. Come over here and grab one of those. Okay. Now, the master suite. Whenever you have a bed in a trailer that goes like this, you're always going to have much more room, okay? This will come with a queen or a king bed. It has the uh, cup holders over there. You've got lights above there. They come on. And, of course, you've got your storage underneath the bed, which is easy to get. Notice I'm having to do a lot of this one-handed. So down in here, this is nicely finished out. You could even run a board right through there if you wanted to because that's the uh, storage compartment I showed you that was right underneath the, uh, the uh, tanks, the, the, the black and gray water drains. So down here, you could put baskets, uh, boxes, whatever you might need. Okay? 13.5 AC in the bedroom. I'm telling you, when it gets hot outside, you close your windows, you close the door, you turn this on, uh, you might have to grab a blanket. You've got your TV that goes up here. And this is the bracket that I've been showing you on the few other trailers that we looked at that comes off that's where you can mount on your TV and you can move to certain places, okay? Cabinets up top. Uh, this particular unit is wired for, is does have the solar panels on there, okay? So again, with, with two batteries out here, depending on where you're at and your usage, you could get up to five to seven days just on solar power, okay? You got storage here, and you've got storage up here. Some of the models that we have over there will also allow you to put a combination washer and dryer right here. Okay? All right. Big closets. Lots of room, lots of hanging space. As well as hers. So I got a little bit, Donna got the rest. And you got storage up in here too. Okay, Brian, I think we're good here. Let's go ahead and head on outside. And again, this Moride step. Look at that one-handed. Put it up. Lock it in place. Pull your door closed. Isn't that a pretty trailer? Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vod RV.